okay, we have a grouping question ahead of us. A baker has some packets of sugar and some packets of flour. He has uh, 22 more packets of sugar than packets of flour. What does this mean? This means that sugar, flour, sugar will be more. Alright, sugar will be more by 22. So we can quickly draw a model to visualize this. Each packet of sugar, let's change colors, okay, each packet of sugar is 1.5 kg, each packet of flour is 1.7 kg, more than each packet of sugar. So again, very quickly, we list this down, sugar, 1.5 kg, flour will be 1.7 more, so 1.7 plus 1.5, that will be 3.2 kilograms for each packet of flour. Now the total mass of all the packets of sugar and flour is 2 to 5.7 kilograms. How many such packets of sugar does he have? So in this model, what we can do is to put the total mass, which is going to be 2 to 5.7 kilograms grams okay now to do this question we need to make the items the same all right once we make the items the same we can group the items in a set we find the number of groups and subsequently we can find the number of packets of sugar so how do we make it the same we add another 22 packets of flour Alright, of course, when we add another 22 packets of flour, the total mass must increase. Increase by how much? Let's see. 22 times 3.2. 22 times 3.2, that will give us 70.4 kilograms additional mass. So the new mass will be 2 to 5.7 plus 70.4. which is going to be 296.1 kg. Now, this 296.1 kg, right, is the new total mass if the number of flour packets here is the same as the original number of sugar packets. Okay, they are the same. They will then have a mass of 296.1 kg. Mm -hmm. All right, now, now that we have made it the same, what we can do is to group one packet of sugar together with one packet of flour. Since... They are the same in quantity. Alright, so now, what is the mass in one such groups? Mass of one group. This will be equals to the sugar packet plus the flour packet. So 1.5 plus 3.2, 4.7 kilograms. 4.7 Okay, again, I repeat, this is if the number of sugar packets is here and equivalent to the number of flour packets as well. Alright, now take note, this is for one group of items. The new total mass is now 296.1 kg. So what we can do next is to find the number of such groups. Which will be equals to 296 divided by 4.7 296.1 divided by 4.7 which will give us 63 of such groups okay so we want to find how many packets of sugar does he have 63 times in each of this group there's one packet of sugar so 63 times 1 to give us the final answer of 63 packets of sugar of course if they were to ask hey how many packets of flour are there then what we'll do is over here is 63 right over here is also 63 however the packets of flour is not exactly 63 it is actually 63 take away this 22 that we actually added all right so answer for this question 63 packets of sugar